Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sammy Yeo. So, ngayon po is, uh, on this video, ituturo ko po sa inyo kung paano po tayo makakapag-schedule ng appointment sa DFA. Or, yeah, for passport application. So, kasi ngayon, before ka makakapag-apply uh, for a passport, kailangan nyo po munang magkaroon na schedule or appointment. And ngayon po, during this time, medyo madali lang po ang pagkuha ng schedule or appointment. So, kung balag niyong kumuha ng passport, siguro po ngayon mga months na to or yeah, during this COVID-19, konti lang po yung kumukuha ng appointment. That's why we can easily get it. So, before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe below and pakilike na lang po ng video na to. And of course, if you have any suggestion or if you have any question, don't hesitate po to ask below. Okay, so, first one is pupunta po kayo sa website ng www.passport.gov.ph appointment or isearch nyo lang po kay Google DFA appointment or yeah ilalagay ko po ang link ng website na to sa description box below so pwede nyo pong i-click and mariredirect na po kayo dito sa website na to so reminders my reminders po dito pakibasa na lang po and these are the terms and, condi and conditions so first po is i-click nyo lang po ito it means, yeah, after nyo pong mabasa tong reminders and terms and conditions na nandito. So, kung marami kayo, pwede po kayong mag-start group appointment. Pero kung ikaw lang isa, individual ka lang isa, you can just click the start individual appointment. And then, region nyo po. Yeah, of course, nasa Pilipinas tayo, Asia Pacific, and country is Philippines. And then, the site. Ito na po yung DFA na nasa city ninyo or malapit sa city ninyo. So, for example, me, I'm from General Santos City. General Santos, we have a, we have the, the DFA, so Robinson's, General Santos City. And then, you ikiklik nyo lang po yan. And nandito na po yung office name, office address, and contact number nila. And then, click next to proceed. So, dito po, meron po tayo dito mga available dates. So, ang earliest available appointment po na e, ano, kay, pwede nyong i-book is on 24, Monday. So, today is Thursday 20. So, sa 24 po, pwede po dyan. Depende po sa inyo. So, kasi dito sa lugar namin, meron lang uh, ano tatlong schedule po within that day na kinikater ni DFA. So, for example, I like 10 o'clock. So, please be advised that your chosen time slot is reserved for 20 minutes. By the way, uh, yung uh, kailangan nyo pong madaliin yung pag, yung kapag gagawa ka nito or magpapa-appointment ka. So, I'm not a robot. So, nakapili na tayo ng date and time. I'm not a robot. Next na naman. So, kung wala kayong phone number, or yeah, kung dalawa yung cell phone number nyo, pwede i-type dito sa dalawang to. So, for example, this one. Ito yung number mo. And then, next is the email address. Guys, this is very important po. Kailangan po ng working email nyo talaga. And, kaya po dito may confirm email kasi kailangan dapat tama talaga yung email nyo. Kasi doon po isi-send ni DFA yung ating um, receipt. So, kailangan working yung email nyo. Okay? So, for example, this is my email. Okay? And then, kailangan natin i-type yan ulit dito. Okay. So, your last name. For example, this is my last name. And then, middle name nyo po. Of, um, 
For example, okay, yung middle name na lang ni Rizal. Okay. And then, date of birth nyo. July. 21. 9, okay, 2000. Female. Civil status, single. Legitimate. Birth legitimacy, okay? Depende po yan sa inyo. Ano po talaga yung info nyo. And the Philippines, of course, your country of birth. And dito, guys, that, dito ako nagkamali. Dati. Kasi, ang ginawa ko, akala ko yung birth lang na nandito is yung country country lang. Hindi nakasali itong province. Akala ko ito is yung tinitirhan nyo ngayon. So, nagkamali ako, guys. Kasi hindi talaga ako pinanganak dito sa Jensan. Sa ibang province ako pinanganak. So, ang nilagay ko dito is Jensan. So, please take note. Country of birth, province, birth din to. O birth, city, or municipality of your birth. Place of your birth, in short, ang nandito. So, for example, uh, galing ako ng... Saan ba ako galing? <laughs> okay. So, let's say, South Cotabato. Galing ako ng uh, tupi. Ganyan. Okay? So, they are place of birth itong nandito, guys. Okay? Please, not your address. Huwag nyo kong gayahin. Kaya, yung nangyari sa akin, bumayad na naman ako ulit ng 1,000 pesos or 950. Kasi mali. Dalawa yung mali ko, guys. Yung birthday, make sure na tama yung year nyo, yung, ma yung month and date, and this one, the gender, make sure tama yung pangalan nyo, walang period, walang kama. Kung wala man kama or period yung pangalan nyo, wag nyo lagyan. Please be sure sa mga pinagtatype nyo dito. Sayang yung 1,000. Okay, so next. Father's information. Okay, so for example, my father's name is Marciano. Oh, last name. Ano yung last name na nandun? Granger. Okay, Marciano. Or let's say, Harry. Potter. Okay, and then my maiden, or uh, my mother's maiden name. Okay, for example, Weasley. Alam niyo itong mga pangalan dito? Genie. Hindi ko alam anong spelling ng genie niya. Okay. Um, maiden. Okay, so let's just have, ano ba to? Alonso. Okay, so country Philippines. Okay, next. Application type, guys. New or renewal. So, in, uh, in this video, new po ito. So, kailangan natin ng bagong passport and then birth. Basis of Philippine citizenship, dito nila ibabase po yung inyong uh, passport or, yeah, yung informations ninyo. So, ako, in my case, birth certificate po ang dinala ko kung may election, marriage, or other things. Yeah, but commonly, it's birth. Foreign passport holder ka ba? So, I am not. Emergency contact person. Okay. This one, ano yung Granger? Oh, mali, mali, mali. Yan ang sinasabi ko. nag tab ako. Number. Okay. So, yan guys. Importante din to guys. Okay? Now, next. Make sure na walang mali. Okay, complete address nyo. Complete address is, for example, block, block 1, San Isidro. General Santos Province natin South Cotabato Make sure na tama yung mga pinang Okay, online teacher Make sure na tama yung mga pinang Sa type nyo, okay So, dito pa rin yung lagi ng office number Or complete office address But this is optional Pag walang asterisk, okay lang po na hindi nyo siya i-fill up Next one Okay, so dito na guys. Dito, please i-review nyo ulit yung mga na-type nyo na. Okay, pwede nyo pa naman i-edit yan dito. And then, save ka na naman. Okay, so if you think na okay na yung mga nandito, 
Ayan. Make sure na yung selected appointment nyo or schedule nyo is tama or available kayo that time. I'm okay. And then click I'm not a robot. And then I am aware that blah, 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 blah. So confirm. Please choose a processing type. 950, 12 working days for all, for all consular offices. Okay. So it depends on you. Kung over the counter ka ba or credit card. So, usually over-the-counter kasi hindi naman tayo lahat merong credit card. Pay now. I agree. Proceed to payment. So, guys, eto na. Hintayin nyo to na mag-load. After mag-load, okay, pwede nyo na yung i-open yung Gmail nyo at that time. So, eto guys. Pag nakita nyo to, please, please, please don't forget to click proceed. Kasi kapag hindi nyo kinlik tong proceed na to, pinabayaan nyo na lang na ganyan. Hindi yan darating sa email nyo. <laughs> hindi darating sa email nyo yung ginawa nyo sa DFA. And then, automatically na, uh, automatically na, meron na kayong record, may infos na kayo, which is hindi nyo na, hindi na kayo pwedeng mag-register uh, ulit or mag-apply ulit. Ulit. Okay? So, please proceed. Confirm. So, pwede kayong mag-apply after maybe 24 hours or 72 hours. Ganyan. Depende kung ma-erase na yung info nyo dun sa DFA. So, ano ng DFA. So, please make sure na na-confirm nyo. And then, lalabas itong print. So, huwag nyo na yung print. Uh, dito, sa email na lang natin. Okay, ito ginamit ko na email for that. Tingnan natin kung dumating sa email. Yun yung kadalasan na nangyayari. Bakit yung iba hindi nila nare-receive sa email nila? Please click proceed dito. Tingnan natin kung na-receive natin. So, hindi pa siya dumating. Hintayin na lang natin na dumating siya. Bakit ang daming food panda dito? Okay. Hintayin na lang natin na dumating. Ayun! Appointment. So, yan na siya. DFA passport appointment. Ayan. So, makikita nyo dito, guys. Reference number. Eto. Eto yung gagamitin nyo pag magbabayad kayo. So, paano pa tayo magbabayad? Okay, so view payment instructions. Pwede nyo siya i-view dito yung instructions. Actually, ito rin yun. Yung nandito. So, ayan. Pwede kayong magbayad sa 7-Eleven, Robinson Small, Supermarkets, LBC. O ako, ang ginagamit ko is PayPal. Okay, so in my next video, tuturuan ko kayo kung pa paano natin ito babayaran using PayPal. So, if wala kang pera sa PayPal mo or if wala kang account sa PayPal, gumawa ka ng account sa PayPal madali lang. And then, kung may GCash ka, uh, usually lahat naman tayo may GCash na, di ba? Kung may laman yung GCash mo, i-transfer mo sa PayPal. Libre lang yan, walang bayad. So, PayPal to DFA, ganun. So, tuturo, ituturo ko yan sa next video ko. So, please be updated sa mga videos ko. Subscribe and hit the bell button. So, para malaman nyo kung uh, kailan ko yun i-upload nang malaman nyo paano siya babayaran. Okay? So, that's it for today. That's how you make an appointment with DFA. Thank you for watching.